Hello and welcome everyone. We will begin this uh, webinar in just about five minutes. So just stay, uh, hang tight there. And in about five minutes, we will begin. So bear with me. Thank you.
Hello, everyone. Great. Thank you so much for giving me your time right now. We are going to begin in just one minute. So what I will do right now is take care of some housekeeping details. Um, so what we have right now is you should be able to see my screen on the presentation. Um, sorry, my presentation on your screen. And also you should be able to hear me loud and clear. The um, should see me as well. And all of your mics are muted so that uh, there won't be any feedback. And then if you have any questions, please feel free to chat away in the questions section. Um, if you have any questions that are going on throughout this presentation, I'm gonna try to save some time towards the end of this webinar to answer your questions. I can hang around for a little bit too if anyone wants to hang around and ask me any uh, specific questions at all. Um, yes, so I see we've got uh, more and more people logging in. This is excellent, great. Thanks so much, this is so exciting. Uh, great, and we are also uh, recording this, so if you can't tune into the whole uh, one hour here with me, you will get an email one hour after this presentation, and it will be uh, a recording that will be emailed to you. So you can uh, watch it later, um, and it doesn't expire, so you can watch it at any time as well. And also try to tune in to the end, because there is a special offer that I'm really pleased to offer you today as well. Um, and then I'm going to apologize right from the start because if there is any audio issues or any video issues, um, I apologize. I've already set up my system and tested it to do everything that I can um, to make sure that we don't have any technology issues. But there's a lot of people kind of using uh, the online world right now. So bear with me for any um, technical difficulties here. Great, okay, and I hope everyone sees that questions box. I'm gonna open that up and I will get to the questions later. So I'm just gonna remove my, perfect, you can still see me. Great, okay, so this is a really important topic. So I'm very honored that you are here to tune in and to learn more because it's really important. Um, of course, a lot of us right now are doing our best as we're staying home, staying inside to keep our immunity strong. Um, but what's also important and what is overlooked right now is our gut health. And our immunity starts in the gut. And so that is what I want to remind you of. And that's what I'm going to provide you lots of solutions to be able to implement right away. Um, and so I want to say a big thank you, of course, to all of you that are tuning in right now um, to be able to learn more and further do your own research into this um, holistic realm of things, too as well as I have to give a big thank you if any of you or your loved ones or your dear ones are frontline workers right now, uh, praise and strength to all of them. Um, if it's doctors, nurses, support uh, workers um, in health, long-term health care facilities or hospitals or anywhere, um, you know, they're putting their lives on the risk right now, as well as our truck drivers, our pharmacies, uh, pharmacists, our grocery store, our health advisors in the natural health channel as well. So thank you to all of you, um, if that is any of you or to your loved and dear ones as well. So big thank you there. So let me um, move on to the next slide and I will uh, make sure I respect your one hour that you have with me here. Okay, so my name is Irene Pauline. Um, I'm a holistic health practitioner. A little bit about me, you might not um, recognize me. Um, I do a lot of these speaking engagements for Living Alchemy. Um, and uh, I um, really started in this field, literally in the field. I grew up on a conventional uh, crop farm, um, and that was in Ontario. I'm in Vancouver, BC now. And uh, that was in Ontario soon after, you know, um, being raised on a farm and working in the fields and everything like that, I got my undergraduate degree um, in the big city in Toronto. And from there, I climbed the corporate ladder. Um, and soon, you know, I, uh, I worked long and hard and in a whole other industry than this. And uh, right there, I was um, really uh, kind of um, just taken down with a life-threatening diagnosis, and that was really cancer for me. Um, and so that's where I entered into this whole nother journey, and that is really um, where I went through conventional medicine. I paired it with complementary medicine, a holistic medicine, self-taught myself everything, tried everything, and was able to become cured, and that's where I am right now. 
nine years, I want to say eight, but it's, it's almost, it is nine now. Um, nine years um, in remission, I'm just going to say cured because I know I am, um, and keeping that at bay. And so that's where I further um, pursued my education and got my designations and traveled to further explore different retreats and institutions to keep learning because I knew this was my big passion and I knew that I had to do it for myself and my loved ones and for other people that I can share a little bit of insight to. So that's what I that's what I do now. I um, have created my online business. So I do work with uh, clients from around the world online, as well as I am the uh, manager of marketing and education for Living Alchemy. So I am excited to also incorporate Living Alchemy um, into this, and it is sponsored and hosted by them. So they have offered um, some great deals as well here um, in this presentation. So thank you for listening to me. I'm sure you have a great story as well, and I would love to hear it. So I'm going to make sure I share all my contact information so you can reach out to me as well. So let's uh, let's get into um, what I do have to share with you is for in this uh, everything I present in this document um, is all for informational purposes. The information contained within this document is for um, information purposes, not intended as a substitute to the advice of a healthcare professional. Therefore, it should not be used to diagnose or treat any healthcare problems um, or for prescription of any medications as well. So I do have to share that with you. I just want to make sure that everything is still turned on. Okay, let me see. Audio is great. You can see my screen. Hopefully you can hear me and you can see me still. Perfect questions. For those of you just joining, if you have any questions, just type away and I will uh, give some time to answer those. Everything looks and sounds great. Thank you so much for letting me know that. Perfect. So I explained a little bit about who I am. Uh, I'd like to also tell you a brief a bit about who Living Alchemy is. So they are a fermented organic whole food supplement line. They've really taken whole food supplements up to a whole nother notch and making it living whole food supplements. And that's through a living culture fermentation process. Um, that is uh, from a unique SCOBY, um, and that's from kefir grains, uh, water-based kefir grains, and a kombucha SCOBY. So that's what's doing the fermentation of the whole foods to make these wonderful supplements um, and that I use and that I love and that I share a lot of research and information on, which I will also do that with you later on as well. So um, everything small batch is traditional and it's long fermented, just like when you make your sauerkraut at home, that cabbage turns into sauerkraut, it takes time, right? It's done in small batches and it takes, um, say, about a month or so. So that's the same process that Living Alchemy uses um, in a little bigger scale than your kitchen, say. And that is a long fermentation period is what we would say when it's a few weeks. So it is a Canadian company. As I said, I'm in Vancouver, BC, and that is where our head office is. So everything um, is as clean as possible. And this is, I have got some images here of, there we go. This, you might recognize some of these products. I can answer any questions on these, and I will also talk about the Your Flora series. But let's get right to uh, the, the real uh, goodness here, which is why you have joined this webinar. So maybe you are suffering from stomach discomfort, gas, bloating, unexplained fatigue, like uh, a lot of people are saying right now, quarantine is making us lazier, and that it, you're not alone. A lot of us are experiencing that low energy, um, really that moodiness, that stress, obviously, that anxiety, that fear. A lot of us are um, going through that. And so I need you to also be mindful of those pre-COVID days because they weren't that long ago and they'll be post-COVID days and hopefully they are soon to come. Um, but with that said, be mindful of your current state and you know how, how your symptoms existed before um, a few months ago and then be mindful of carrying through as well to make sure that you achieve your goals because you don't, you don't want that to be the new normal. Um, and so today's goal and tomorrow's goal, and these are going to be solutions I can, you can implement right away to achieve these goals. So that is to achieve optimal digestion, restore that damaged gut lining. That's really important, aligned with um, keeping your immune system strong. You want to reduce inflammation, keep stress and anxiety um, reduced, and regain that energy again. 
So how we're going to do this. So um, the perfect gut solution. So it is not one size fits all. It, I encourage you to try and test and further research what works for you. The most important part is to be mindful of what is working for you and what signs and symptoms your body is showing you and telling you. Um, and so that's where, you know, no one solution is perfect. But what I'm going to encourage you is that what the perfect solution is, is building your own flora, building your own healthy ecosystem in your body. And this is what's going to allow you to really thrive. And so how we're going to do that is through balanced nutrition. Of course, as always, number one, we're going to do it with real whole foods. Um, and then some of my favorite medicinal foods that will really help that you can incorporate right away. Number two is the complete digestive solution. So number two is supplements. I'm always going to suggest supplements as um, secondary because they help to speed up the process, right? We all want to see results right away. Um, and so the Your Flora Symbiotics by Living Alchemy uh, will be able to help with that. And then number three, this is really important right now too, balanced lifestyle, body movement, and that mind relaxation. Great, so that is the agenda here. Let me just get into defining some terminology so we're all on the same page and just as some quick little refreshers as well. So the gut that I'm going to be talking about is the digestive system. The digestive system starts right here, and that's the nose. And that's where um, it really involves all the senses. So once that the uh, different smells are sent, that's what is going to then activate your salivary amylase. So that saliva, that's enzymes, it's gonna help to uh, activate the taste buds on your tongue. And then as soon as you start taking those bites, um, and not even when you start taking those bites, once the, the smells are activated, that's gonna and really start to um, start with the digestive tract in the stomach. Um, and then once you start taking those bites, of course, this is where it's, um, the process has uh, literally begun. And what goes in matters and what goes out also matters. So that's where the digestive system starts from the nose to the mouth all the way to the anus as well. Okay, so what goes out matters. So this is where um, being mindful of what that looks like to you and what your what um, how your body is showing you um, the, the signs that if something is imbalanced. And so uh, the gut um, in the uh, small intestine, the large intestine, this holds a lot of our different microbes. So this is really that microbiome. Our full body has a microbiome, um, which I know uh, you, you all know if you're washing your hands right now, and that's where our microbiome starts. Um, and that is really, um, we can't visibly see it, but we know we need to uh, make sure those bad bacteria, those bad viruses are being diminished by taking care of our, uh, washing our hands. So what we also want to make sure is that we're taking care of our gut microbiome because we have the microbiome amongst our skin, but the majority of our uh, microbiome is in our gut. And this equals up to uh, about four to five pounds, depending on um, person um, and the size of the person, but that is how much collectively our microbiome would weigh. And there's billions and trillions of different mic uh, microbes. So these microbes I'm talking about are bacteria, viruses, funguses, um, uh, all different sorts of microbes live amongst our gut microbiome. And that is where they really dictate um, our cravings, say, or our brain health as well because of that connection. So that brings me into the brain and gut access. So you might have heard of this term before. What that is, is the vagus nerve connects the brain and gut. You can think of the vagus nerve as, say, a highway with cars delivering messages, a two-way highway with cars delivering messages back and forth. And this is where um, the brain and... <laughs> sorry, how I do that? Into my gut as the brain and my, the gut. Um, so the brain and the gut... Um, to be able to communicate properly, to um, define what it is that um, our mind is telling our gut or so, or vice versa. And so this is really important because that clear connection then um, sends, uh, sends responses to the rest of our body. If it's in fight and flight mode, or if it is re in rest and digest stage, which um, a lot of us may be more in the rest and digest stage, um, which is a good thing, I would say, right now, so that this this rest is a good time to promote healing in the body, um, to reduce inflammation, to focus on um, what signs your body is identifying to you. So that's what I'm going to really encourage you to do. 
Because when you're offset by these different stressors in um, today's world, this is where it's going to impact not just your gut health and not just your immune system, um, but also the nervous system. So your sleep could already be affected. Um, I always say sleep is number one. It's really important. Um, and gut health is really connected to that. Um, so the nervous system can cause the anxiety, the depression, um, and then the immune system, which um, we know inflammation, infections, allergies, pain. Um, so those, that's, those are some signs that our immune system is being compromised or under attack. Endocrine system, so the thyroid, the adrenals, the gonads, this is our hormonal response to our reproductive organs as well. So this is all the different factors, all the different systems in the body that can be affected by these stressors. And these stressors traditionally used to just be microbes and animals, right? But now modern day stressors, the root causes are a lot more than that. It can be hereditary toxins, it can be environmental toxins that, or say vir uh, viral toxins that we can't see, the invisible um, as well, or it can be what we choose to do with our days, if it is alcohol, if it is smoking, if it is our medication. That is also very taxing on the liver as well, the process. Um, and of course, um, some root causes could be our food supply in today's day. It's not what it traditionally was in our ancestral uh, on our ancestral plate, so to say. Um, but also our clock rhythms can throw off our, um, so that's our sleeping patterns, which can throw off your energy for the whole day as well. Exercise, too much exercise can be a stress on your body. And of course, too little as well. So it's that fine balance. And this is where tuning in to what works for you is what's gonna really help. Um, if we look at reducing the stressors we can reduce inflammation and then we can reduce these uh, chronic conditions so that they don't, they're not created. This is a really important term and this is what we all have in common. All of our bodies are trying to achieve homeostasis. So I always point to the screen because I always do this presentation live. Um, so I need to remember to use my mouse here. So homeostasis. So all of our body is, uh, all of our different bodies are trying to achieve homeostasis. The difference is, is what our healthy range looks like and what our disease range looks like. And that is where we'll always be going in those highs and lows as long as we stay within that healthy range for us. My healthy range may be that I'm a little bit more tolerant in some things where I know that uh, running uh, does my body good. But for someone else, running may impact the joints and the muscles too severely that it's causing inflammation. So the peaks are rising. And then if that's consistently happening, happening, you're constantly running, say, well, disease can happen. And that's where, say, the joints or the bones can be impacted in that, in that way. So that's where I'm trying to let you know that our body's trying to achieve this balance. And stress is normal. Um, but it is, you, what you don't want to see is that stress to be compacted over to, over a long period of time and for you to always be running in the out of bounds section here. So that's that red section. So finding your perfect homeostasis um, and knowing what it says here, homeostasis does not involve keeping static conditions. It's not a flat line. It it's involves keeping conditions within tightly regulated um, physiological tolerance limit limits. Um, and so that's where you have to know what your limits are. And if that is saying, no to more things if that is taking the right food to do the right to do the right thing with for your body that's um that's what you need to do because these different modern day burdens on the body are then pushing the body out of balance and right away the first symptoms of the body out, out of balance are um, everything from tiredness to gas to bloating or being heartburn say constipation brain fog anxiousness uncomfortableness it's probably what we're all experiencing right now right during this um covid um, um you know i've heard people call it a crazy crisis now. this pandemic that's happening we're in this state right now but know that um, we can help to alleviate the symptoms. We don't want these symptoms to continue um, on. And if you had these symptoms before, there's some, um, there's some root cause that is happening. So let's work to reduce this because we don't want it to become the new you. Um, when this is constantly, these stressors are compacting over time and over time, neurotransmitters can start to break down. The hormonal response um, starts to break down. And then our immune system um, gets very, um, uh, very strained, where it becomes weakened. And that's where we don't want these uh, the severe symptoms to then happen, which is 
um, you know, worse, you're getting, now you're getting sensitive food sensitivities, or you can't keep food down and malabsorption suffering. So a lot of, a lot more um, issues can become more serious. And we don't want this to become the new you. Those, that is not what is to be normal. Um, so we don't want that to be something that defines your everyday. Um, death begins in the colon. I need to remove that slide. That's not, I, I, it's a little dark for today's day, but I hope you know what I'm trying to say here for digestive health. We have to start with digestive health. And that's really what I'm, I'm trying to define for you today, the importance of that. Um, the systems of, of the body known for silent diseases. Um, so that's, that's where the symptoms we get used to. It's bloating and gas. So our diarrhea is just something that's consistent or my normal bowel movements are every third day or something like that. This is not, these are kind of more of something you get used to, which you shouldn't. Um, and there's severe conditions as well that appear. So I'll talk about a few little um, severe digestive conditions um, that are definitely on the rise in today's uh, day, especially leaky gut um, amongst uh, young people as well. So what leaky gut is, um, you may already know, there's different triggers, the triggers that we already talked about from uh, drugs to pathogens to stress to the, the um, viruses as well. What we need to do is keep that intestinal uh, lining tight. So you can see if you follow my error, this is a normal tight junction. So that's the intestinal wall in the, um, your small, large intestines. Those junctions need to be tight. Um, these little fingers here, the intestinal mucosal cells, those are the microvilli and the virus and the villi. And this is what helps for food and bacteria, good bacteria, and for food to be absorbed, for bacteria to grow, etc. Once those little villi and microvilli starts to disintegrate, it causes junctions in those intestinal lining, creating gaps. So now your intestinal lining, you know, it might be hard, has these holes in them. And that's because these triggers have punctured the intestinal lining. So that means these triggers are now entering into your bloodstream. And that is where your immune system fires wet right up and starts to attack. So now if your, your immune system should be focusing on more important things and fighting off the virus, so to say, not fighting off the gluten that might be um, going through your intestinal lining right now, right? Um, and so that's where you want to, um, really work to heal the intestinal lining to make sure that stays tight um, and that's where you don't want inflammation to increase and over time that can create more severe cases and that goes into something like inflammatory bowel disease so that goes that um Crohn's and colitis ulcerative colitis you see in Crohn's. So this is what a normal intestinal lining, I was just kind of saying how the microvilli are inside of the intestinal lining there. Um, and so key markers of IBD is that inflammation, the dysbiosis of the gut. Um, so those are the villi, the physical deterioration of the intestinal lining, and then an immune system dysfunction. It goes hand in hand with gut health. Um, and new studies have shown that IBD is actually the second most co uh, common chronic inflammatory disease worldwide after rheumatoid arthritis. Um, today, no treatment has consistently been shown to be successful for treating IBD. So a lot of digestive conditions becoming much more, um, much more um, on the rise these days as well. So um, we need to make sure we promote that um, balanced lifestyle and we need to look at doing that through nutrition. Excuse me there. All right, so uh, through nutrition, how are we going to do that? We're going to look at eating real food. Um, and this means whole food. This means natural food, what came from Mother Earth, not has been processed and packaged, packaged and filled. Um, and I know that uh, this may be hard if we're uh, working with, you know, canned and preserved foods as well, but trying to keep it as fresh as possible, um, you know, if you're in Canada, we've got a great supply locally here um, in North America as well. So um, especially as we enter into the summer season upon us, um, also just keeping it as clean as possible, eating more like our ancestors were. And this really goes back to our roots. So if you are um, looking for something sweet, go for an apple or go for a natural sweetener. So say something like... Um, 
uh, dates or honey or maple syrup in that sense. Um, if you're looking for something more salty, look towards nuts. So I'm just, I'm not trying to restrict you. I'm trying to suggest more real whole foods. And I know that sounds um, so simple. Uh, and uh, a lot of us are doing that today. And so um, if we need to, you know, even because of cost restrictions right now, um, income restrictions, look, I'm not saying frozen food isn't a good option. I would choose frozen over, say, pan. So look at that as an option as well. Um, incorporate more fruits and veggies and whole grains and whole meats. Um, if you choose to go the sweet way, uh, go a lot cleaner. So if you choose to eat meat once a week or twice a week, try to choose a cleaner source. I know that, um, especially if you're suffering from any um, income um, uh, offsets right now, that that may be hard to choose a cleaner source of meat. Um, but if you're choosing a cleaner source, you're going to get more nutrients out of that. So know that's more beneficial for you, um, and less of the um, less of the antibiotics and less of the chemicals that are processed in that meat. Um, I know it can be rather expensive, but just choose to limit and then substitute with other um, things like fruits and vegetables and whole grains. Um, looking at more unprocessed and unrefined choices, I always like to say shop on the exterior of the grocery store. So that's your fruits, your veggies, it's got your frozen section too, that's okay. And then you're only in the middle aisles and that's really for um, your one single ingredient or your one, two, three, five ingredients if you can try to limit that. So when you pick up the label, if it has 10 ingredients and a lot of them you can't pronounce, I would stay away from it, is kind of my general rule of thumb. Um, and so looking for less packaged unreal food. I always like to say homemade and nature made is best made. Um, this is what's really gonna provide you with the highest amount of fiber, highest amount of antioxidants, um, and the highest amount of benefits. So you want to look at reducing sugar, those chemicals. There's going to be less additives, fillers, less bad fats. This is really going to be important because that causes these processing these chemicals and fillers and bad fats puts a lot of strain on the body. And we've got um, we're, we've got enough going on. So try to create some ease for the body. And real whole foods is really going to help with this. So I see we've got some questions coming through. That's great. Just um, type away and I will get to them to the end here. So some um, other foods I wanted to make sure I incorporated here. So medicinal foods, and this is what I like to call medicinal so herbs. Incorporate fresh herbs wherever possible. And maybe you already started to plant your herb garden and that's excellent. Um, maybe you've already started to plant your own veggies as well. And that's, that's gonna be great for the kind of the season as we progress. Looking at more herbs is, is going to provide a lot of um, anti-inflammatory properties, a lot of antioxidants. Um, and if you can't always get the fresh herbs, you know, in your garden or in your grocery store, uh, using dried herbs is just as great as well. Of course, I'm always going to say fresh, but you incorporating dry herbs when you're cooking, say. Um, so if that is when you are making lentils or rice or beans, any type of um, um, legume or whole grain, when you're boiling it, add herbs to break down the anti-nutrients. And that's a good way to make sure you're getting optimal absorption here. Uh, mushrooms grocery stores nowadays have so many different mushrooms. Try some new mushrooms. Don't just stick to the white mushrooms. There's lots of different ones out there. Um, and yeah, so that's where I would always be incorporating mushrooms. Really great for immune health, direct impact um, on immunity. And then fermented food. So fermented food is my favorite one to talk about. So I'm really going to get into that. Um, and really looking at fermented foods as medicine. And it really comes from um, our ancestral heritage. And this goes from around the world, global ancestral heritage here. And this is what fermented foods have done. It's superfoods turning into super, superfoods. And this is through, um, you know, our ancestors using uh, the foods that they had, that they grown to be able to preserve it for, say, the winter season, um, or using it in ceremony, using it in um, medicine um, as well. So in Africa and some of the Americas, coffee and cacao, it's not something that you can just pick off the bush. You need to look at fermenting this to do it the traditional way. It's how it was done. 
uh, soy using fermented soy, um, that would be miso, tempeh, nato, quite common in Asia, which I'm really going to get into because there's lots of healing benefits with fermented soy. Maca. Uh, we might be more familiar with the superfood um, traditionally used in Peru. Chichi de matcha, matcha is um, what it has to be fermented. You don't just uh, you know dig a maca out of the ground and bite into it. It needs to be fermented to be utilized properly. Baobab, a wonderful tree in South uh, Central Africa, um, huge fruit that needs to be fermented as well. And then in Eastern Europe, we might be more familiar with milk to yogurt to kefir. The amount of kefir in two ounces um, equals, you know, jugs and jugs of just milk um, or yogurt. Yogurt has a lot more sugar in it. So I would encourage you to try something like kefir. It's going to provide a lot of gut-friendly bacteria. And then good old gra grapes, from grapes to um, grape juice to wine. We know that when we ferment grapes into wine, um, a antioxidant that's very po potent called reversitrol is created and this helps with say aging or skin eye health etc and this only comes from fermented uh, grapes so lots of benefits that are coming from fermented foods and so this is something that i encourage all of you to start to incorporate in every meal if you're you know going into dinner in the next few hours or just had your dinner look at um, you know, incorporating into your next meal, whatever that is. I like to always say about two ounces with every meal, especially in today's day, because having that extra nutrients is really going to help support all of the systems in the body. So the potential benefits of fermentation is that you've got um, the complete bioavailability that's happening. So increased therapeutic nutrients, creation of new unique compounds, so say cabbage is a great vegetable, but when you're fermenting it, you're getting a lot more greatness out of greatness out of the sauerkraut, right? You're getting the enzymes in there. You're getting the back, good bacteria as well. So this is really um, the difference of using fermented foods. And also the way that fermented foods work in the body, our body, when we're consuming, say, cabbage, has to ferment in the stomach to be able to then um, be broken down further into the small intestine for that absorption to happen. So if you're giving your body fermented nutrients, you're giving your body a break in that sense, um, because, uh, you know, that is where it's already activated. So that's where we like to say the fermentation is activated nutrients. Um, you're really providing um, that clear communication. So when you're creating that ease of fermented foods being much more highly absorbed, it's allowing communication to the cells to be much more responsive and reactive. And so that's where there's a lot of research out right now saying how fermented foods help with brain health. Um, and so that is where uh, that's where that comes from. It's because it helps with all the metabolic pathways and clear communication between um, the cells. And it really is a whole living food matrix that fermented foods are, uh, are, are providing, much more bioactive, bioavailable, a lot more nutrients, a lot more different, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of different uh, plant flavonoids, antioxidants that are per being provided. And this is really through a symbiotic approach. And so this is where it's something that I promote in my practice, uh, Living Alchemy also promotes. And this is symbiosis. This is the intimate relationship of different organisms living and evolving in harmony within an ecosystem for the benefit of each other. And fermented foods is just that, provides the environment and the microbes to create a healthy ecosystem. And so this is where we believe fermented foods are symbiotic. Um, and there's a key ingredient. So I'm gonna narrow it down, I've talked about uh, whole foods, herbs, mushrooms, fermented foods. Now looking at a specific ingredient that I'd like you to uh, re-look at. Um, as you might have different controversies about soy, um, there is unprocessed, there is processed, um, over-processed, I should say, soy. So you're looking at tempeh versus uh, tofu. Uh, tempeh is fermented. Um, how you can tell is you're still looking at the whole bean when when it's in uh, when you're looking at tempeh it's still there and someone pointed this out to me is if you look at the pod of a soybean pod it almost looks like in um, your intestinal tract as well so um, your intestines and so that was quite um, just unique um, just like you know 
uh, lion's mane mushroom looks similar to brain health. Um, but anyway, so I'll get back into from my fermented soy. So fermented soy, very different than unfermented soy. Uh, it has a unique balance of amino acids. So amino acids make up proteins and then polyphenols, which are very potent antioxidants that only come from plants. So the only other thing that would be comparable to fermented soy would be whey. Whey being a, a an animal product, looking at something that's a little bit cleaner, um, but also whey does not have the polyphenols. Yes, it has amino acids, but it does not have the polyphenols. This part's important because it's the antioxidants, antioxidants that are healing the digestive tissues, that intestinal lining. Um, and this is where fermented soy has been greatly studied for repairing the intestinal tract. And this is why it's so important for gut health. So I hope you see that connection. Um, and it really dates back, you know, um, in Asia um, through ancestral ways here. And this is really through looking at soy to create that healthy ecosystem in the body. Um, and so lots of research has been shown with this. I'll, I'll get into some of it. Um, going into polyphenols. Polyphenols are activated into a form that is bioavailable. Um, and so, our, like I was telling you earlier, we have to ferment these polyphenols to be able to, um, to absorb them. But when you already are eating something fermented, it's already um, having that ease so that it can be much more easily uh, um, absorbed in the body. So the actions of fermented soy, um, you know, there's a lot of different antioxidant um, benefits, anti-tumor, anti-diabetic, antimicrobial pro properties. Um, and so this is from all different types of research. Uh, an important finding here is that uh, there's a reduction in immunoreactivity. So 96 to 99 percent immunoreactivity, because when you are fermenting soy, it's breaking down the anti-nutrients. And so that's uh, the process that's really important. Um, um, yeah, and so the more, more research there that also outlines that it's a fight also against uh, degenerative diseases, lots of different benefits for this. If you're looking for more research, take a quick picture or screenshot of this slide. Uh, Living Alchemy has a site dedicated um, from third party research from around the world that has been uh, supporting this. And of course, when you're looking at fermented soy and if you already um, eat and if you eat soy in general, making sure that it is USDA or Canadian uh, organic certified, um, as well as non-GMO project verified, that's also important. So we concluded the food section of this. I need to get in, I need to speed up a little bit. Um, important part is number two is using uh, supplements to speed up the healing process because we have to aid in the relief to make sure that um, you know, you're experiencing the benefits and that the body has, you know, if you've been suffering from five for five years from leaky gut, you don't want to suffer for another five years. You need to try to um, do what you can to make sure that is healed quicker. And so this is where I get into your flora symbiotics. Um, it's really a complete digestive solution. It's got the probiotics, prebiotics, enzymes, and nutrients all coming from whole foods. And that whole food source is that fermented soy that's in here too, because Living Alchemy recognizes the benefit um, and the research from around the world that's identifying the fermented soy as um, healing to the intestinal lining. So they of course use USDA organic soy, non-GMO verified soy as well. It's coming from Europe, so less cross contamination there. And uh, they use the kefir kombucha scoby, a mother scoby, um, to ferment with that um, soy for approximately a month. And there's a, a various number of different strains and microorganisms that are in the, um, the fermented soy, which is uh, their trademark ingredient called kefi soy. Um, and so from there, it's no fillers, no binders, as clean as can be, is the main ingredient in the Your Flora Symbiotics. Um, so no binders, no extracts, no mega dosing. Um, it's not about, um, you know, selling uh, just one active component of the whole. It's not just about, say, curcumin, it's about turmeric as a whole. Using the whole root and the whole food is what's so important. So no isolates, no... Um, extracts or synthetics. Everything's as natural and clean as can be. 
this is a list of all the little ferment friends, so the different types of bacteria and yeast that are in all of the uh, Living Alchemy products. So it's a very diverse strain symbiotic. And this is what Living Alchemy has created through all of their products. It's a really a new paradigm in whole food supplements, providing that living aspect that has all those vitamins and minerals, but they're much more bioavailable, um, much more absorbable in the body, so much more beneficial. And when you look at conventional probiotics, so I'll get into the differences. When you look at conventional probiotics, the survival rate is about 20 to 40 percent, um, and it might just be one or uh, one, two, three, five strains. So here, uh, Living Alchemy's Your Flora line has an 80% microbe survival rate of Lactobacillus plantarum. So, and that's just after 14 days. So quite beneficial. Um, you can see that there's a lot of success when you take these um, supplements. Um, and then this is a high dose of that kefi soy. This is um, equivalent to their product called Your Flora Professional. And this is an in vivo studies, um, and it's uh, within 30 days. See that microvilla I was talking about, if you're following my arrow, um, and how it's disintegrated. And so after taking 700 milligrams of kiwi soy, you can see the microvilla, the fingers are becoming much more stronger and healthy. The before and after of the intestinal lining, how the whole mucosa has really reduced. I apologize that we've got some colons. I should have given you a warning there. Um, so this is a 45-year-old male that's suffering from ulcerative colitis. And he's using the four capsules of the kefi soy. Um, and so after six months, you can see that before and after. So what I want to tell you here is this gentleman, he was suffering for, um, it would have been for a while to have a colon at a young age of 45 like that. He made no other dietary changes. He already tried all medications and his next stage was surgery. This was a, um, a human clinical study that he entered to uh, see if it would work and to not have surgery. And it looks like he doesn't have to because after six months, um, you can see it really is, uh, so to say, as clean as a whistle there, um, having that repair. And so that is, um, that kefi soy is a high dose that this gentleman was taking. And then that's where Living Alchemy has created your floor professional. So that's a therapeutic dose here. So that's for people suffering from very serious conditions. Um, so here, it's the ingredients, it's 400 milligrams of just that fermented soy. Of course, the organic non-GMO soy. And that is... Um, for people suffering from anything that's a serious long-term issue, if you've tried everything out on the market and it, nothing has worked, your doctors don't know what's going on, like kind of thing, this is where you look at this product. Um, and there's going to be, I'm going to talk about the other products for different conditions because everyone is so different, right? So let me get into the different ones for your symptoms. Some great testimonials here saying a powerful probiotic and um, here's another testimonial, another colon here for you. I'm pretty sure it's the last one, yes. Um, so this is the person who has taken the Your Flora Terrain and the Your Flora Sensitive. This is the before and after. This is from just February of last year to August. So not that long, um, and you can see the before and after. So she chose to mix and match our products, and that's, that's fine to do with any of the products. So I have to read this. Um, Emma is uh, in her mid-30s, and she sent this in to us, and it's an amazing story. Um, she says she's thrilled to bits because of her first time in 10 years, so quite young to be suffering from um, ulcerative colitis. Uh, first time in 10 years, I've been giving the all clear. My ulcerative colitis is in remission. There are no signs of disease anywhere. I nearly had my bowels removed. For now, no need. The medical team were amazed. The option and options I have been given were surgery or yet another drug therapy. I was wary of pumping yet more drugs into my body as they all seem to make me worse in the long run. I've been taking the sensitive, so with peppermint and lemon bob and the terrain with aloe and slippery elm, also marshmallow root, I've been an absolute game changer. I've been chronically ill for 10 years and was due to opt for surgery. Your probiotics have given me my life back. So that is the before and after. Um, really have given her life back. So that's um, been great feedback we received. And um, that is really through that symbiotic effect that's here. Um, and that's where that benefit has really come through. So those fermented nutrients providing an array of um, 
array of valuable nutrients that are coming, um, coming alive when being fermented through a living culture, a kefir kombucha culture. Um, I also want to mention there is a naturally occurring L-glutamine that comes from um, the your flora symbiotics as well, lots of vitamins, minerals. And so what we believe in um, at Living Alchemy and through my own um, beliefs as well is that the microbe is nothing, the terrain is everything. Creating a strong gut health, um, you know, 70 to 80% of your immune system lies within your gut. And this is what's going to be important to create an overall healthy immune system, healthy ecosystem amongst the whole body to stay strong. Um, and so this is where you need to look at nourishing the terrain. You know, the probiotics are the seeds. You need to look at the fertilizer as well, the soil health. And this is the probiotics that are the benefits, the enzymes that are the benefits, the different nutrients. It's going to create a healthy ecosystem. You need water. You need light, right, from planting these seeds. Um, or, or else nothing grows if it's not a healthy, rich soil and that bright sun and that fresh water. Um, so let me see how much... 15 minutes left with you. So I'll, I'll, I'll scan through these, but uh, really, this is really talking about healthy intestines with optimal villi and microvilli are the surface equivalent to a tennis court. So without this, the surface area can shrink to the equivalent of a tabletop. Um, the terrain will ultimately determine the number of healthy microbes living in your digestive tract. So do you want the ecosystem of a tank, a pond, or an ocean? You want that diversity. That's key. Um, so having um, a, a bigger, vast ecosystem um, where you're getting all the benefits uh, is really where you're going to see the systems really succeed. Uh, and so uh, with the Euroflora uh, symbiotics, they are different than your conventional probiotics. So they're plant-based, they're whole food source, so that means they can be certified organic. They're not laboratory-based, they're not synthetic. Um, they create an ecosystem, and they're not just bacteria that dictate your own flora. So they encourage your own flora. So it's food for your microbes, as opposed to when you take a probiotic, you're taking three or five strains, and it is um, billions and trillions. So that might, um, only cause more stress on the body where it might not be that strain that works best for you. You may not have been born with that, uh, that bacteria or may have not be able to adapt with it. And so maybe that's where the bloating or the diarrhea. Um, sometimes I hear that in practices, the probiotics go right through me. And so that's where that is possible um, because it may not just be working with your ecosystem. So you wanna use something like a symbiotic that encourages your own flora. So your flora is rich in enzymes, peptides, digestive nutrients, has a high colonizing factors, while traditional probiotics may not be the case. So this is the uh, full line here. So how you choose which one is for you is based on your digestive con um, constitution, to so your symptoms, how your body is showing you signs. So if your body is showing you bloating, gas, cramping, um, you want to look at comfort. Your flora comfort has chamomile and fennel in it, and those are the herbs that are going to provide the relief right away. The kefi soy is the medicinal property, that's that fermented organic non-GMO soy, and that's the medicinal property that's going to promote the healing of the intest intestinal mucosa, the intestinal lining, help with the immune health, and then the chamomile, the fennel, the herbs will help with the symptoms. Family, this one's great for general support. It's got kefi soy, with the blueberries and the bananas as well. So this is for young people to seniors. So this is a good one just to have in the household and make a really great uh, yogurt out of this one. Um, a coconut yogurt recipes on livingalchemy.com. Um, and so this one is suitable for pregnancy and young children. Um, and so they can be open, so how you can use them in recipes. I actually made pancakes this morning, um, and I added a capsule of the probiotics to the mix. Um, and so any, yeah, any of them you can open. This one tastes good when you open it. This is blueberries and bananas. The other ones taste like herbs, so very earthy. So just swallow the capsule if you can. Regenesis. Regenesis is going to be good for sluggish digestion, so constipation. Um, if you have taken any medications, I would be suggesting Regenesis. If you've taken antibiotics, uh, look at using Regenesis. It's got artichoke and chicory. This is going to help support your liver. Um, so if you suffer also from fatty liver or uh, gallbladder or pancreas issues, you look at your flora of Regenesis. 
sensitive. So remember that brain and gut connection I talked about. If you're greatly, if that um, this connection is happening within you, what you can tell is um, anything from irritability, uh, overreactive nervous system, uh, say high temperament or high moodiness. Look at your flora sensitive. Um, it's got peppermint and lemon balm. It's very calming to the nervous system. So it's good for those that also have IBS. I didn't say that already. It's very cooling to the digestive tract as well. It really helps to calm the nervous system. Soothe, so I, I would use soothe in the winter because it's very warming to the system. Turmeric root and ginger is in here with that kifi soy. So this is very soothing for any digestive inflammation. It really strengthens your digestive fire as well. And so I say for seniors, I like soothe for them because they've got a lot of inflammation. Also, um, not a lot of enzymes in the stomach, so this helps to activate enzymes. <clears throat> also helps with um, nausea and heartburn because of that ginger is very balancing to this form. And then your floral woman, this is dried cranberry juice and roselle. It's a species of flower from um, the hibiscus family. This is good for women's digestion, optimal digestion, but also your vaginal flora, your urinary tract. So if you suffer from UTIs to prevent acute and reoccurring UTIs, try your floral woman. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to get through all this and I can feel my throat's getting a little choked up. I've got 10 minutes and... <clears throat> Sorry, I apologize there. I will carry on here. And then I always say when in doubt, when in doubt to look at your floor terrain. Uh, this one is um, has won gold um, through a live awards. And this is one that has aloe vera, whole leaf, slippery elm, and marshmallow root. It works to really help to restore, repair the digestive lining, just as it all do. But there's a lot more benefits with the herbs to help alleviate symptoms right away. So that's why people really like this one. So it's good for leaky gut, celiac. It's, um, if you have high acidity or ulcers, helps to regulate your acid production. So look at your floor terrain. Really good formula. This is a um, a little. Uh, little boy, five years old. Um, of course, all of our products are made for adults. Um, for And so it's up to the parents' discretion if they would like to use the products on their children, knowing that they're all organic, whole food um, at, the, at the parent's guidance um, there. So this little boy took two, uh, sorry, one capsule a day for two weeks. And you can see the before and after shot. So quite amazing. Uh, this is a, a, a person that I worked with uh, here, um, and he suffered from ulcerative colitis for six years. He just took the Your Flora Terrain, and uh, this is a really great story too. So I'm going to read it because he's been using Living Alchemy for four months and can sleep through the night. He used to be up in the night five to six times, had bloody stools, horrible cramping, basically couldn't even go to work because he was running to the bathroom with bloody stools. His face was gray and sunken in and down to 117 pounds. Now he's 142 pounds. Eye color looks great. Um, he can finally have a full night's sleep. Um, he eats like a regular person, avoids unhealthy foods because he wants to be healthy. So here's his before and after. It's just a magnificent here. After four months of using Living Alchemy Terrain, I am finally feeling like a normal person. So you can see from ulcerative colitis, he really suffered from malabsorption. That's where the sinking of the face, the grayness, and within four months to see these results. And for him, I believe he was taking four capsules a day of this one. Um, and so this is where he looks younger after four months. So looks very healthy, much more full, full in the face, brighter. So there's just amazing results that we're seeing from um, from people everywhere. So I love hearing these stories and. If you've got any um, stories of what works for you, please share with me too. So another gentleman here with an amazing story. Um, I think I'm going to just skip over because I want to get to another important part in this um, webinar. But uh, lastly, about the Your Flora Symbiotics, how do you choose which one's for you? So if I haven't made it clear enough, there is a um, go to the livingalchemy.com website and there is a quiz. So click on it and just click in your symptoms and it'll auto-populate which one's best for you. Uh, some extra tips with the products, which I've, I think I've already mentioned, the dose. Uh, maybe I didn't. I will take one to three capsules 
daily. It's different for everybody, right? I always say start low and then work your way up to more. If you have a bad day, take a little bit more. Um, so for if it's a severe condition, you probably need to be taking more um, on the like regularly to make sure it's healed. Um, and so it can take it can take some time. Staying committed is really important. Take with or without food really depends on the sensitivity of your stomach. And all the products are shelf stable. No refrigeration is required for any of them. But if you like your probiotics in the fridge, you can put them in the fridge, and that's fine too. Oh right, I forgot I added this slide in because it's my favorite product from Living Alchemy. Um, within a month, I saw my nail growth, my nail growth, my hair growth, um, and the strength as well. Within one month, I took two capsules. Um, but if you're looking, the reason I put it into this slide is into this presentation is because it. If you're suffering from a digestive issue um, or um, an immune, uh, weakened immune system or anything like that, you need that extra nourishment and that extra um, cleanliness through supplements that can actually be absorbed in the system. And so that's where this is all fermented baobab, fermented baca, maca. So those key ingredients um, that I talked about at the start, about superfoods turning into superfoods, that's exactly what this is. Um, super superfoods, I should say, or uh, fermented beetroot, fermented spinach, fermented turmeric, and then I love shaga mushroom, king of immunity, that mushroom. So uh, this is one I say with any digestive condition, always um, have your foundation incorporated as well, or if you're looking for hair, skin, and nail health, it's a good one too. So the last part of this um, presentation that is very important is that health balance lifestyle. So some general recommendations that I'm going to suggest is because we live in a whole new world right now. So keeping that body moving is really important. Keeping that mind relaxed is really important. So what I'm going to suggest is minimum 30 minutes a day and do what's best for you. If it's more, um, you know, if you're senior, maybe it's a little bit less, maybe it's lighter options for body movement a day, but doing at least 30 minutes of body movement a day is really important. Um, and if this is carrying your grocery bags instead of using a shopping cart, if this is um, taking the stairs instead of taking the elevator, or if this is, say, you probably can't see, but um, if this is replacing your desk uh, office chair with, say, one of these, I don't know if you can see this, a medicine ball, or not a medicine ball, it's a exercise ball. And you know, using that while you're working from home. Um, just keeping that movement happening is really important. Going on walks, trying to keep whatever exercise you can, that regime intact. And then also that peace and quiet, that mind relaxation. Your households may be chaotic right now. Um, so trying to find that peace and quiet, at least 30 minutes, if it's waking up a little bit earlier, if it's going to bed before, um, to try to take some time for yourself um, to relax that nervous system. That's what the goal is. Um, and doing things that make you happy, that you know, allow you to relax. If it's baths or journaling or um, yeah, whatever, whatever it is for you, um, try to find that. It's different for everybody. So try to find that mind relaxation. And then I'm always going to say, you know, sleep in water. We're lucky that it uh, you know, doesn't cost us anything. Try to make, make sure you're getting at least, eight, I say about eight glasses of water a day. It depends on your size. Um, so about eight glasses, about eight hours of sleep as well. The number ranges from seven to um, six to nine for some people. So looking, focusing on your sleep is also going to be important here. So we want to really calm our nervous system. So... Um, keeping that balance and that balance of our body, our mind, our spirit. And I hope I was able to share some um, insight with, sorry, I'm flipping through that. So I'm going to share some insight with um, tips for nutrition. So kind of summarizing quickly, nutrition, real whole foods, um, less packaged, less processed. And I say less because I don't expect anyone to go clean out their pantry right now. Use what you have and Next time someone goes to the grocery store and makes a shop or you order online for delivery or something, choose the whole food ingredients. And that'll satisfy all your cravings as well. Um, lots of great, it's a good time to experiment with new recipes and try new things too. Um, and then supplements help speed up the process. So look at your flora symbiotic, if you're suffering from any digestive conditions or just to enhance your gut health because that's going to enhance energy that's going to improve the connection between the brain and the gut to improve your mood 
these days as well. Um, and then, of course, you're going to um, help to strengthen your immune system with using um, Living Alchemy's um, supplements as well. And then um, that body movement and that mind relaxation. So that's really going to keep keep all things aligned. So I hope that it provided you with some more insight um, and something new. And please feel free to um, you know do your own research and do your own try and test it yourself as well. Uh, feel free to keep in contact, um, reach out in any way possible. Love to hear your stories too. So take a quick uh, screenshot of this if you'd like to keep in contact. Um, and then I want to offer you um, a special on Living Alchemy's products. So 50% off any Living Alchemy's products. All we talked about today was this line. That's the Your Floor Symbiotics um, email. If you want to learn more, go to the website to learn more too. Signature Series, this is the defense product. This is um, a top seller right now. It's for immune support to boost your immune system. Um, and so that is uh, primarily based on, um, on just the immune health. But you need to pair it with gut health because that's so important. And then uh, I talked about foundation that I'd always recommend in every regime. And then we've got the live series. So this is your fermented um, single herbs. Say adaptogens are here. So an ashwagandha, if you're familiar with that, it's fermented ashwagandha. And holy basil, fermented holy basil. I like to say um, fermented holy basil in types of, to give hope and ashwagandha for that anxiousness. Um, so that's targeted towards stress is what this line is targeted towards. So there's a little bit more on the rest of the Living Alchemy products. How do you get the discount is you um, can just enter this promo code. So feel free to take a screenshot of this. Sign up LA15. So when you go find the product you like, Foundation, of course. Um, foundation, click on Buy Now. And then it will take you to the Amazon.ca page. Um, and that is where uh, we ship through Amazon uh, to add the cart. And then when you sign, when you check out, uh, type in the promo code sign up LA15, you'll get 15% off. If you are listening from anywhere around uh, the world, uh, go to the Where to Buy page. Where to buy page um, will show you how to ship internationally. Also, your local health food stores. This is what we want to also promote. So if you're in Canada um, and you are able to uh, go out to your local health food store that they're open um, and that you are, are making those um, errand, doing those errands, go to your local health food store and get them to um, order it if they don't carry it or check our website and they should also be carrying it too. Um, and I'm sure they can um, honor a discount or something for you. It's on stores at some select stores too. So sign up LA15, and that is the promo code. I hope this, um, I hope, you know, you get to try some of the products and really see the benefits there. I hope you can implement some of the things I suggested as well. So that takes care of everything today. I really appreciate your time. I think I got it right on just um, two minutes over. So apologize for this two minutes. Um, I'm going to hang around for about five minutes for anyone that has questions. Um, and feel free to hang around with me and I can answer any specific questions or just email me um, as well. That's the contact information. Yeah. So I'll take a drink of water and then I'll get right to the questions. Alrighty, let's see if we have any questions here. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jeanette, thanks. I see you're still here with me. This is great. Okay, so can you speak to the non-medicinal ingredients in the signature series? Um, so that's the alfalfa, the fennel, the nettle, the parsley, specifically in the dose sufficient to gain the benefits from them. So, yes, of course, there's going to be the extra nutrients that you're getting from those greens um, in there. So are they of a high dose? It's not like you're going to get the extreme benefits of, you know, just um, just consuming, say, fennel on its own or just consuming nettle. Um, so they're not targeted for those conditions. Um, but you would be still getting the antioxidant supports. The reason we put them in there is because it balances out the formula a lot. When you look at the signature series, um, they are quite powerful. They're powerful because 
they have a lot of different fermented herbs. So the profile of those herbs are enhanced, stepped up another notch. So that's where we need to balance it out by including that base, and that's the base of greens that are in these signature products. So I hope that answers that for you. Let me see. Joanne, how does living alchemy work with SIBO or candida overgrowth? Wondering as some are sensitive to fermented foods when going through those conditions. Well, actually, we've got um, the defense product that I talked about for immune support. It, ha it is very much targeted towards the yeast management, so specifically uh, candida. Um, and it actually has a 500% uh, greater percentage of benefits uh, than a lot of other um, medications that are out there. And so this is something that, um, yeah, that's something that's outstanding results. And mostly customers, they're the ones that are noticing the difference right away. So we've got so many great reviews on uh, defense for candida, uh, and that is using the fermented herbs. They're antimicrobial, they're, you know, anti, um, anti-fungal uh, herbs, so they're really going to help break down the candida um, because their ferment makes them so much more powerful. So it actually hasn't caused any issues, the fermented uh, part, for people suffering through those conditions. Um, so that's where that's the um, defense is a great protocol for that. And then adding in a your florist redemesis is the protocol I would suggest for candida. Um, also for SIBO, that's the exact protocol as well. Um, and it is a natural fermentation, so it's much more gentle on the system as well. So um, not, not a concern. Margaret, you're still with me too. So how would you recommend for uh, diverticulitis? Um, so I am going to suggest your floor professional. Um, if you're suggesting, what would you recommend? Okay, yeah. So regarding living alchemy supplements, that is what I would suggest. Of course, there's a whole diet regime nutrition plan that needs to also go along with diverticulitis. Your floor professional is the product that is the um, higher dose that's targeted towards those uh, more uh, severe conditions or long-standing conditions, I should say. Of course, we're always going to say with any um, disease diagnosis, it's, uh, speak to your healthcare practitioner as well. Um, but yeah, I would I would recommend, and uh, you know, feel free to do your own research with it. But I'd recommend your floor professional, and then always pair it with a foundation that fermented multivitamin, so to say. Mm -hmm. um, so Danette, um, uh, I, does Living Alchemy do in-house research or who did the research on the kiwi? So like, yes, great. So all of our um, the research I shared with you was all third party research. And um, so you'll, you'll see a lot of those reference points. Those that was outside research. That website is also outside research. So the website I said where you can see research from around the world. And then also I showed you a graph that has an 80% uh, microbe survival rate. Um, that is also done by a third party lab. So that's important um, and great question. You should be asking those questions when looking at supplements. I see we've got some people that left, so they won't be able to get the answer. So. I'll leave those. Um, hi, Irene. Is there any of your flora products that you would suggest for women under with an underactive thyroid? Yes, great question. So with the Living Alchemy, your flora products, there's none that are targeted for thyroid health. But how we, know, how we know how the systems work in the body is that really anywhere that you're going to help with gut health is going to help support the endocrine system as well. Um, and so that is helping with the thyroid, um, the TSH um, hormones that are being produced. So you want to be taking one of the your floor, symptom, one of the your floor symbiotics and based on your symptoms. So what does your gut health tell you? What is your digestive system telling you? And then we want to work to uh, alleviate those symptoms, enhance your digestive system. This is then going to work as a byproduct. It's going to help your thyroid as well. But of course, if you're experiencing thyroid issues, you want to be taking something focused on thyroid health as well. But um, I would also look at um, treating it holistically and looking at the health too. Um, which product would be best for healing reoccurring skin issues like eczema and why? 
Thank you for mentioning that because I forgot to mention that. Um, it was written in the slide that your florid terrain is the one that's going to help with skin conditions. So eczema, psoriasis, um, rashes, al um, kind of hives, anything like that that's appearing on the skin is um, a sign of is connected to leaky gut. So remember, I was saying the intestinal lining, the tract um, is being broken down. Triggers are getting through the intestinal tract into the bloodstream and then making their way through the epidermal as well, the epidermis. And so that's where those um, conditions are appearing. And so that might be a longstanding condition where inside something's been off maybe for a longer amount of time than even recognized. So you need to work to repair the intestinal lining. I would really suggest your floor terrain. I've heard a lot of amazing results from that one for skin issues. So uh, that's the best solution. And then I would also incorporate that foundation to help with uh, skin health as well. Great, I think I've answered anything given. Great, so it seems like no other questions. I'm just scanning one last scan. A few of you are still here with me, so that's great. Perfect. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate all your time. I'm going to log off here. And if uh, any questions come up later on, here is that contact information again. So reach out to us. Um, okay. Thanks again. I really appreciate it. And uh, please be safe and take care.